A. James Clark School of Engineering at the University of Maryland College Park is a top 20 school of engineering. We perform about $170 million a year in, in research. New faculty members who are coming on board are increasingly coming on board with research computing needs. The computing infrastructure has become a critical part of the research infrastructure that is necessary to generate that $170 million a year. In addition, our students are really coming to expect to be able to access our services 24-7. At the University of Maryland, business critical continuity means being able to provide services to the students, particularly web-based services that are expected to be available 24 hours a day. This is especially true for students who don't keep our traditional office hours. This particular data center is 25 years old. As new needs came, those needs were met in kind of a reactive way. We did not have kind of a master plan for laying out the data center. It just evolved over time. Prior to the assessment, the data center was at its maximum capacity. We could not physically fit another box in the square footage of the floor space that we had available to us. The assessment uncovered a number of specific areas that we could address. In addition to the hot and cold aisle configuration, which we kind of understood conceptually, there were a lot of things that we hadn't really realized would, would make a difference. The reorganization of the IT equipment increased the efficiency of our data center by allowing us to do things that we had not necessarily done correctly before. And at the same time, we were able to condense the equipment and make the best use of our space and our new cooling capacity. We were provided with a CFD model that showed exactly where the heat and cold were flowing in the room, um, essentially to catch all the little efficiencies that we were not taking advantage of. The University of Maryland chose the Liebert CRV for this data center because of the flexibility and adaptability and efficiency of the system. The CRV allows us to dynamically scale and efficiently scale it as needed. You don't have to build out your entire server room capacity from a cooling perspective. The CRV allows us to get very granular in terms of our control of airflow and capacity planning and capacity matching. It allows us to direct the airflow directly towards hot units it also allows us to easily add capacity if we need to by just by adding another row. A row-based solution like the Liebert CRV um, offers a great deal additional efficiency over a room-based cooling system. It's cooling only where we need cold air, essentially the intakes of our racks. The Liebert CRV's digital scroll compressor runs essentially as much as, it, as it's needed. This means that the air coming out of our cooling unit is as cool as it needs to be at that moment. The unit doesn't need to struggle to cool the room, and the air in the room is comfortable for our uh, data center techs. The Liebert CRV's EC2 fans run at the speed necessary, and the noise signature is a lot better than our old unit. The big difference for those of us working in the data center. The unit is running at maybe 40% capacity, so we could double the number of machines we have without doing anything else. Essentially, we've gotten a great deal more capacity, a great deal more flexibility with a single standalone unit. Adding redundancy to our cooling infrastructure means that our operations continue unaffected even if there is a hardware failure. We previously did not have any sort of redundancy and when there was a uh, HVAC issue, we, we essentially had to either shut systems down or damage them by running them out of spec with essentially superheated air cooling them. The Liebert CRV has allowed us to provide a redundant cooling infrastructure for our data center. Currently, we are failing over to a pre-existing crack unit. In the future, as demand requires it, we'll be able to add an additional CRV and be able to fail over to that existing CRV for our cooling needs. Prior to the data center assessment, we had a single monitor point on the crack unit. We also had another solution in place that allowed us to monitor uh, a few locations for temperature and humidity around the server room. CRV provides a great deal more in terms of monitoring for the room, real-time reporting, as well as multiple points of input. The Liebert CRV's ICOM controls have done a very nice job of visualizing what's going on with the unit. The air intake temperatures, the individual rack inlet temperatures, there's a great deal of data available. The screen shows us at a glance what anybody maintaining or running this data center needs to know. The remote monitoring helps us deliver the continuity of business for our data center because our office hours are not 24 hours, but our data operations are 24 hours. The ability to monitor the CRV and for the CRV to send out alerts is critical to not depending on problem reports to catch actual issues. 
Emerson Network Power was able to help the University of Maryland achieve efficiency without compromise in revamping a 25-year-old data center into a modern infrastructure that is very efficient and will meet our growing capacity needs for the future. We've gone from squeezing things into corners and into spots in the existing racks to having the ability to build out the entire additional equivalent of our infrastructure again. And essentially it's because of the assessment and the, the lead into deploying the Libre Survey. As a university, we have budget constraints and we're also kind of expected to lead by example. And we've been able to do that in this project by demonstrating that an old space can be made much more efficient and much uh, cheaper to run. And we're uh, extraordinarily pleased with the results.